Hello scratchers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, today I am back with another interesting topic on scratch. So guys, today we will be making a scrolling platform a game. You might have heard of it often times. So guys, there's a big advantage in you watching this video as in this video we are not only showing the working of the project or the scrolling platform but making a full game on it. It's not a very good game like you can post and get many views and likes, but it's a basic game showing its principles of what is done in scrolling platformer. So, here's the final output which we are going to make so that you get to know what we will be doing. So, as you can see, this is our main player or character and this can move around, jump over the platform and yeah, it can perform basic actions. But you might have noticed one thing Unlike the platformer game which we made earlier, in this, instead of a player moving, the whole platform is moving. Quite interesting, isn't it? One more thing is this: that if you try to move further this side, it will stop you, so that we don't fall off the map that side. If you have not built anything that side, now if we continue ahead, then you can see over here I have laid some spikes. You might have guessed why these spikes are here. So if I jump over them. my lives get reducted and um, now my lives are at 2 so if i go further and i you can see this apple if we eat this apple then we'll win the game but before eating the apple i want to show you two more things if we fall off the map then our life will again get deducted and now i'm at one life now if i die once more then it will simply end the game and the game will pause or stop Now if I restart the game then if I go ahead and eat this apple it will say yay and we won the game congrats so guys now you know what we are going to make so without doing any delay let's begin so guys starting off create a new project and change its name to scrolling platformer part 1 so i named it part 1 because this project will not be done in only one video all the projects till now have been done in one video only because they were basic projects this is considered as an intermediate project uh, like uh, for above beginners so you might have noticed also that my first video on youtube was about how to make an apple catch game on scratch and now we are on scrolling platform again we are progressing from basic to intermediate and soon we'll go to advanced too it is all because of your support and keep on supporting me press on that subscribe button and also that like button and don't forget to share to your relatives or your friends coming back to the project this time we won't be deleting our cat our sprite and we'll name it player but we'll have to delete this my variable now what we can do is that we can duplicate this and name this hitbox and in this project we'll not be coding anything in our cat or the player we'll be coding only in the hitbox so for some time we can hide this and now we have to do one thing is that we can delete this costume and in this uh, costume we can remove the outline and an important part now comes to pay attention on is to cover the whole body of this cat choose the rectangle tool and cover your player or your character costume completely so after adjusting it uh, we can delete the character itself or the player and now we'll be doing some basic codes like when flat clicked hide and then we'll be broadcasting a message and well that message will be play uh now why did i mention this broadcast play is so because many of your games uh, many of you who will be using this project to make uh, your own scrolling platformer can use it to make a menu menu like uh, the main interface from where you can start the game 
vacant with the high score and all of those you can refer my other games for this too uh, so in this project which we are going to make we won't be having any such menu this is just for your reference and for your ease so when i receive play then simply show first yep and then go to x and y 0 and 0 all right so after that uh, one more thing is that go to front layer after that we'll making four new variables x for this sprite only y for this sprite only and then scroll x for all sprites and scroll y for all sprites again now we can set all of them to zero scroll y x and y now we will be making the basic moving or like how a character will be moving so for that we'll take a forever loop and make a new block we'll name it move and run with our screen refresh so in move uh, we will be doing some basic codes like if or so if key right arrow is pressed or key D is pressed then it will change our x by 1 and if left arrow key is pressed or a is pressed then change x by minus 1 simple right after that we'll change x by x as you can see it's now moving but it's it continues moving so for that we'll be fixing it later and uh, after that uh, we can like if touching ground okay so before we add the touching ground we need to make a ground first so I can just paint one new sprite name it ground now you can make your levels on your own. I already got them, so I don't waste your time. So I can just add them over here. I'll delete this costume. And zero and zero. And yes, one more thing is to get them at the bottom. Similar. Right now we only need this. So if uh, if our player is touching ground, if it is touching the ground, then we can change the x and just copy it from here. And then a multiplication sign. If it is touching the ground then x will be multiplied with minus 1 so that the speed decreases as well and then after that set x to 0 so uh, we have to do this if else keep the chain mind the change it's not if it's if else so if touching ground and then else set x copy from here and then again copy this x into 0 0.9 this 0 0.9 will make your character like soft right right now it's not touching the ground but still these codes will work okay. so as you can see our character is moving the hitbox is moving smoothly now we will just duplicate this and do the same for y change y by y 
I'm touching ground then change y by y minus 1 set y to 0 now we will be getting some changes in this second part which are like change the x by minus 1 so if it's not touching the ground and it's in the air then it will just go up and then come down and then if or so now we will be adding if it is jumping or not so if key up arrow is pressed or key w is pressed then simply we will set y to 15 right now its size is looking a bit too large so in the starting we will change its size to like 60% yep Okay, I did it change X it should be changed Y my bad so as you can see it's jumping pretty high now you can change these values whenever you want 10 is also fine 15 is also fine I'll keep it at 15 yes so it's jumping pretty good and then after that what we have to do is that we we'll come in a ground Pause this. The basic word when flag is clicked, it will hide. When I receive play, then it will show go to X and Y, 0 and 0. So this is looking like a platformer right now, but not a scrolling platform. Only with some changes, this whole project will look as a scrolling platformer the only things we now have to do is to like change these scroll x and scroll y change scroll x and change scroll y now we will be changing them by y scroll y will be changed by y into minus 1 and scroll x will be changed by scroll x minus 1 into minus 1 now go to x y 0 and 0 so that our player stays in the middle but the whole background the ground will come to it so over here we can make some changes now and those changes are a bit complex for some of you it might be complex but don't worry I'll make it easy first of all we have many levels like many costumes right so for them we'll make a new variable level for this sprite only now we can detach this code and set level to zero and then after that um, create clone of myself Okay. Now, after creating the clone of myself, we can repeat the number of times more the costumes you have. Like, so change the level by one and create clone of myself. So, after creating the co uh, clone, we can set level back to zero. So, this was the basic thing which we'll be doing here and after that one more thing will be done is that when i receive play then we'll broadcast another message and we'll name this uh, message level and also put it under forever loop now when i receive level then since we have already put this forever so we don't have to put anywhere forever again in this put scroll x and scroll y now let me just check this and as you can see it's working yeah. so scroll x and scroll y they are set now after that we can again detach this 
if else is equal to if the level is equal to zero that means it's the first costume then it will go to scroll x and scroll y so switch costume to one go to scroll x and scroll y now we'll duplicate this paste it here if it is one then the costume will be two and now we'll be making some changes like this so like 400 i i think 400 of 480 again duplicate this and 2 960 okay so now if i start scrolling as you can see this is the level and we are able to move on it's quite fun isn't it now as you can see it might fall off from here and also there's a problem is like jumping and stopping let's check out what the problem is in it Okay, found the problem so the problem was over here instead of getting X and Y it should be X position and duplicate this and get Y position I'll restart this then as you can see it's working perfectly fine now yep so this is what a basic scrolling platformer looks like but don't worry I'm not ending it right now we'll do some other things as well like getting a boundary at a, as I showed you in the starting over here so for that and before that we can add one more basic thing is that as you can see this little green spot coming in the corner if you want to hide that there's no code which we can put for that so we can do one smart thing is that we'll add a border make a new sprite named border Choose the rectangle tool, no filling, set the outline to black and keep the outline to 70. Now keep your mouse pointer at the top left corner and drag it till bottom right corner. And now what we can do is that the basic code as always, when flag is clicked hide. And when I receive play, then go to X and Y, 0 and 0, and show. So if I test it now, as you can see, I'll just go over here, and now it is invisible. So, let's get on further adding the wall over here just to like get to know that the wall is over there i'll just copy this for right now and paste it over here so i spawn i can see this in front of me so that i get to know that i can no longer move that side yes so now we can like first I move the character and stop the project. Now we can build uh, another sprite and name this wall. Choose the rectangle tool with any color. Just make a rectangle at one side and it should be at the left side if you are making for this side only. So now after that uh, like just set it to 0 and 0 yes and then after that in this we don't have to do a lot of coding hide and when I receive play 
for now it will show for now and go to back left and forever go to X will be scroll X and Y will be scroll Y. Yeah. So that's a boundary. And just so that we can't see this part also, I'll just like increase its size right now. Only that much would be fine. And now uh, we will be doing a simple thing. As I will come in, in our hitbox and get an OR. Now just copy this touching and put in wall. And in this code, instead of only touching ground, add OR touching wall too. And like that, duplicate this again and then we can remove this touching ground. And we can add this touching ground OR wall. Now if you see, our player cannot move that side it can no longer move that side or jump on this if it's a see now it's touching so it can't jump so now we'll hide it but not just by like hide we'll set its ghost effect so that its characteristics remain but we cannot still see it so yeah if you don't like that you can just uh, like increase the size of the wall but that small level would not look nice so i'll just increase the level size only now if i start then yep this is the perfect scrolling platform of which you could make now talking about this so now we can show this and when the flag is clicked hide and when I receive play show set size to 60 since our headbox size is also 60 60 percent and yep that's it I believe yeah and in this in the hitbox we put set ghost effect 200 if I play this as you can see, we can only see our player, the cat, but not the hitbox and it's still moving like that. And as I told you in this project, we will only be making the scrolling platformer and its basic physics, but not the whole game. In our next part, we will be adding animations to our cat, adding finishings to this game, a moving background to this game, spikes and many more things. So stay tuned for them. I hope you will be making this video on your own as well. If you like this video, consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video if you haven't till now. Till then, as always, stay safe and continue scratching on guys. Bye.